Okay, Pete and Paul build video number three update. This is the fourth attempt at this because for some reason when I upload the video it comes out sideways and it's annoying. So I'm going to try again for the fourth time. So here we go. Um, this is the end rib of wing number one. You'll see exactly why we're putting these um, wooden gusset um, plates on there. I'll explain that in a minute. Here's our shop. Let's go out to the big shop and see what we're working on. Okay, so basically we have here wing number two, as I call it, and wing number one, of course, over here. So this is the one that the previous builder had done. I have finished off a lot of things on it. Um, the leading edge skins were on, but of course we did the wing tip, did all the wing tip bows. This is three pieces of spruce laminated together, soaked, wet, um, and they were bent and we got the wing tips on. A lot of work has been done on the ailerons. So all of these have been put in here and all these um, cross braces you can see here, all the cross braces top and bottom. I was able to flip the wing over to do the underside. So ailerons are in all of these compression struts here have been put in as well and some gusset, some reinforcement. Um, those are for wing attachment plates that will be fabricated and bolted on there. So this wing is there. Of course, some more compression struts on the ends here as well, as well as some V-bracing here too as well. Um, the jig for the wingtip bow, this is what I made. This is the jig that I made so that wing number two could have the same setup. So wingtips are on here, screwed in, glued in, shaped, finished. Again, V-bracing along here. Ailerons, compression struts and everything along here have all been fabricated, installed and again the plywood plates for the wing attachment straps which you'll see later on. Here are the plans I'm working on, working from. These are the original 1934. These plans are the single piece wing for a one wing peat and pole. These are the supplementary plans, 19, what is it, 1975. This crazy thing here shows the three-piece wing, which is what I'm doing. These are some of the uh, fab, uh, metal straps I got to fabricate to attach the wings to the center section. And this is the end rib. You see the one on my desk there from the start of the video. In here, just fabricating out tonight some, again, more compression struts and V-bracing in here. Wood's all cut here and some more pieces there. And all of these are compression struts that have to be all installed. So. With the wing, there will be some cables. There will be some metal um, cables that go, where's my finger? Here. There's some angular metal um, cables that go there with turnbuckles to tighten the, to make sure the whole wing stays rigid. And you can see those on the plans here. That is, these are, I think they're 1 8 inch steel, whatever it is. Maybe they're stainless steel. Um, with turnbuckles to tighten the wings. So you put them in a cross bracing like that to stiffen up. So I'm working on all of that. The other big thing was I was concerned about this wing because it was built like 40 years ago that the glue was still sufficient. So I did some destructive testing and some non-destructive testing with my brother who's an engineer, knows about material sciences. So one of these areas here, we broke apart the little gusset off of here just to see where was it delaminating? Was the glue brittle and delaminating or was the or was the wood coming apart? And it looks like the glue has sufficiently held over all these years. So this is what it looked like before. Here's afterwards when we tore it apart just to see. It looks like it's good. So I'm not too concerned about it anymore. I had some concerns, but we, you know, all these gussets and things that were done many, many years ago seem to be holding up well. So this T88 epoxy seems like it's pretty good. So I'm um, gonna go with it because my rear end is gonna hang in this airplane to fly. Um, then we're onto the fuselage. I have some Piper J3 Cub gear, I believe, talking to a guy in the States, getting those coming on here. And then the fuselage, the empennage is over here. You can see that hanging up over here. The empennage is there and gonna go on there. So we'll finish off the wings, cabling, stick those to the corner, start working on the fuselage here. So yeah, lots of work. That's how you do airplanes, little by little. And uh, that's it. Okay, so let's hopefully this video uploads properly. That's the latest update. 
Back to the shop we go, epoxy and some sawdust tonight.